Well, that mouse statue is jacked. Mm-hmm. Hey, what do you think that the name that mouse statue is? I will find out. Uh, I, I know. I, 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 mm-hmm. I'm not asking you. We both yeah. know. That's always such a good sound effect, too. Mm-hmm. I also don't think I ever realized that uh, Siobhan's glasses fall off in that sprite. Yeah. This is... Marita? I. This is it. It doesn't look as glamorous as I imagined. Oh, uh, this is just the shipping district. Hold on, I'll walk you to the city center over that way. Uh, we've got, uh, NPCs to talk to. Clear out of here, punks. We got merch to move. Oh, yeah, uh, there, there are secrets, so I'm gonna be, uh, oh. I'm gonna be poking around in the little nooks and crannies a bit. I know in one of the uh, barrels, uh, I think it's actually one of the garbage cans, you can actually find an Ultra Ball, which is mm-hmm. you know, pretty good for this point in the game. Yeah. Uh, there's this one that's uh, lying temptingly on the other side. Uh, hopefully I'll remember to do the thing you need to do to get to it. Uh... You came Ooh, through... can you... Yeah, you came here through the service tunnels? You absolute plunkers. Hey, I guess he survived. Welcome to Marita. Can you get on top of that roof near the top near the top of the stairs and then No. no? Okay. Uh uh-huh. cool ass spotted. Sorry, cool cool ass spotted. Yeah, oh, there got, it is! Hell we yeah! Cool it's so we got cool. Stilton. We we got all sorts of like art in here. Uh yeah, this Rude. is where uh those guys we met before live. Uh, someone graffitied heck on that wall. That is rude. And it's mm-hmm. really rude. Mm-hmm. I know Why we're upset. Why would someone say that? Just just say a rude word like that. I, mm-hmm. I know we're upset, but like, let's watch the fucking language. <laughs> That's right. Um. Okay, last chance. Oh, no, too late. At this, yeah. That's Ratless, the statue of the city center. Which means this is where we part ways. I'm eating my my friend, and we're off to Sky Garden. Good luck, Bruce. Play the stockings off. Will do. And thanks for all the help. Hey, maybe we'll meet again sometime. Maybe. It's up to the gods. Take care. I've got things to do here, too. I know. You're looking for leads on the yellow god. Sir Verm, I want to help. I'm not taking no for an answer. So, I'm going to do some research at Marita's library. Library? Well, that's the best place to ner- learn new things, right? There may be a book on the yellow god. Makes sense, I guess. Books aren't my thing. So I'm heading to the royal palace. I bet the king knows a thing or two. Sir Verm, I don't think they let just anybody have an audience with the king. Huh? I didn't think of that. You reckon there's a booking system or something? Maybe? Whatever. I'll go find out. Let's split up and meet back here in a little while. Okay. Bye, party members. Yeah. Uh, Bye. We've got these kids here playing uh, with uh, this ball. I'm going to be Captain Murdy at PC. Just you watch. Wish, Wish we had... <laughs> No, keep going. <laughs> so we had a field or something. There's no room here. Uh-huh. It's a marble statue of Ratless. The giant rat angered the gods when he stole the secret of electricity. As punishment, he must hold an enormous weight until the end of time. So the true legend goes, at least. Ratless bears his burden. Save your game? Uh, maybe. The game has been saved. Uh, what's the name of that 
first ball kicking red again? Let me see. Luca. Luca. Oh, yeah. They have all that their is... Miles. And Miles. Mm -hmm. I, I know Luca is a Chrono Trigger name. I wonder if Miles is a reference to Tails. He do got that yellow shirt on. Maybe. See, I was thinking about my friend Edgeworth, but Edgeworth would never play a game. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a chav. Edgeworth would never wear a t-shirt. Just done me shopping. Just done me shopping. The merchant's quarter's so convenient. This road leads to the ro This road leads to the royal palace. Be on your best behavior, citizen. And we've got uh, a couple different places we can go from here. Mm -hmm. like I don't know when we're gonna get to it, but I I am calling dibs on the king. So. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Out of my way, nerd! The book nook. Book nook. I keep telling people this isn't a library. And yet, people come in just to stand around reading our books. Oh, we got a whole bunch of different books here. Uh, <laughs> see a book titled Star Cross Squirrels. It looks well read. Read it. Marriott. Uh, oh, dearest Sheena, I long to once again feel thy embrace, and yet I fret our love cannot be so, for squirrels gray and red cannot be wed, lest our fathers clash in battle throw. Uh, Clans gray and red are not but shades, mere dye upon an artist's canvas. If color stands before I love, then I, our love, then I renounce my father's hue. Come, take my paw, dear Mariette, and let us paint a color new. What is this Sheena voice I've done? Uh huh. <laughs> you see a book titled The Moonlight Mystery. It looks dark. The detective gazed at the scene. Blood splatters, claw marks, furniture torn in two. All the classic hallmarks of a Titan attack. Just like the old mole had said. But something didn't add up. Why did the victim reach for his silver knight instead of his seal sword? Unless... A shiver shot down the detective's spine, and a whisper passed through her teeth. Must wolf. You see a book titled The Destitute. It's heavy. So Jacques threw a rugged vola at the Lord Master's feet. I caught this scum making off into the night with a bag of your seeds. The Lord Master shook his head. Why, this rodent is no see if I gave him the seeds as a parting gift. Sir Jacques let out a huff. He turned to his prisoner. It seems that the Lord Master has saved your tale today. But mark my words, you, I've got my eye on you, Vol'jean. That's so fucking dumb. I love it. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Fucking Vol'jean. Mm -hmm. Ground floor fiction, first floor non-fiction. Reminder, if you eat it, <laughs> you buy it. I come here to spill the books. Mmm, love that new book scent. Mm -hmm. That guy doesn't sound like a nothing pervert. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> speaking of... You see a book titled Mousewife Missives, A Tale of Lust and Longing. This is my book, I wrote it. <laughs> the, cover is, the cover is enticing, but now is not the time to read this. Let me see, is anything on the table readable? No. Uh, I just gotta go upstairs. Mm -hmm. See a book titled Nora's Fall by Loremaster Tobin. Oh, that guy! True Empress Nora was born in the twilight years of the Golden Laurel Empire, an era marked by rampant inflation, unprecedented austerity, and endless plagues. The citizens called uh, the citizens of Meridium called for respite from their squalor, but Nora had none to offer. If the mice are hungry, they can just eat the satched roofs, the Empress famously muttered. On a late summer's day, tensions came to a boil. Citizens pounded on the palace doors and demanded justice. The senators, led by Senator Decimus, were happy to oblige. Speaking of the crowd, Decimus denounced Nora as the sole source of the citizens' ills. He proposed that, to assess Nora's guilt, she be put through a trial by fire, an arcane test even for its time. 
The Imperial Guards constructed a great t pyre of timber and straw in Meridium City Square. They tied Nora to its central mast. With a single spark, the pyre ignited, and the crowd let loose a raucous cheer. The fire ate its fair share, but it hungered for more. Flame stands from pyre to haystack, from haystack to roof, and soon the whole city was ablaze. The damage caused by the Great Fire Trial was immense. Meridium burned to the ground, thousands of rodents died, and millions were displaced. The godly city above, too, suffered greatly. Thus, the Golden Laurel Empire was reduced to ash. Oh, the Great London Fire. You see a book titled James Ascent by Loremaster Tobin. When the, great, when the flames of the Great File Trial grew beyond control, the Imperial soldiers were the first to scatter and flee, leaving the Meridium citizens to a blazing demise. But then, a mouse peasant called Artura stepped forward. She rounded up a dozen of her peers, James, Vesruvius, and Grace the Red among them, and demonstrated how to fashion a smoke-proof mask from a thimble and a dampened cloth. The group set to work putting out the fires and directing others to safety. The fire consumed Meridium and much of Redentia. However, thanks to Artura's quick and selfless actions, thousands of lives were saved from a horrific demise. On the following days, once the ashes settled and the tears had been shed, the people of Meridium nominated Artura to lead the city as the first in a new line of monarchs, but she declined the offer, nominating James the Black Rat in her stead. Thus, James was crowned as the first king of Redentia, with Artura serving as both Blade Master and founder of the aptly named Symbol Guard. Out of the ashes of Meridium, the modern city of Merida was constructed. Since James' crowning, the Blue Rat monarchy has reigned over Redentia for over 300 years. Why exactly Artura declined the throne will perhaps forever remain a mystery. Hmm. Uh, let's see, we got... Delicious Mouse Recipes by Jan Olive. Pasta à la Jeanne. Dinner for one. Ingredients. One piece of penne. One small tomato. One acorn cup of water. Salt, pepper, basil, and oregano to taste. Directions. Crush the tomato. Mix the tomato, water, and spices. Stuff the penne tube with the sauce and place in a metal pan. Pour any remaining sauce on top. Bake for 15 minutes. Bene sapiat! Whimsical. Once again, See, I hope you. this is one of the games where you can make the recipes in the book. Uh -huh. I think there's no tomato small enough. Maybe a cherry tomato. Yeah, one of them. I, I one think of them even a cherry ones. tomato. Like, because you're just filling up a, a single piece of penne, right? Yeah. Well, like, well, there's some extra sauce to go on top, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not... But I that's not even including the water that's also going to add that much more to the, uh -huh. the sauce, you know? Well, you don't uh -huh. want your sauce to be too thick, you know? Yeah. You see a book titled Gods, Life and Death by Lore Master Sandra. As a lore master who has dedicated her life to the studying of the behavior of gods, the most common question is, I get asked is, Are the gods mortal? A controversial subject, to be sure, but there are verified ac witness accounts of gods succumbing to death by sickness, grievous carriage injury, and even old age. The second most common question I get is, How do the gods reproduce? To which I answer, noisily. Hey. A cell sword. True, I have no time for you. I hope that character is significant. What's their deal? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. The gods above never stopped hooting and jeering. Makes it hard to get some shut eye. Young King Titan's Border, a win for the people. Hmm? One can't help but wonder. Uh, let me see. What's in here? This cube cost me 2,000 seeds a month, and it doesn't even come with the loo. Fuck that. That's so true. What did I say? Stiff, sniff, strive, squeak? Uh huh. <laughs> Pretty good. You found four seeds. Those aren't yours. Hey, you're good at robbing people. <laughs> Ever thought about being a landlord? 
get his ass. So true. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. We got a needle in this haystack. We got Carla's carpentry. Uh, uh, let's talk to this child. That's Daddy's a- working late again. Wait, what you got there? My sword? No, not that stupid thing. That piece of paper, is it a drawing? Oh, the map. This? It's a map. Can't make whisker nor tail of it, though. Whoa, cool! It's got an X, just like it's marking some pirate's treasure. Sure, it's just like that. It looks like the maps of the kingdom I've seen in school. That big blue squiggle is the King's River, and Marina's over there next to it. But the X is way over there in the northeast. Oh, right. So, north is up. Vern, do you not know how maps work? Did you miss a class in school or something? I never went. Whoa, lucky! Can Vern read? I, I I have to assume so based on all the books he's, we've been opening. That's true. But it, it is alternatively, a, alternatively, he's just making it up. Alternatively, oh. he's just opening random pages and we're looking at them. Yeah, yeah. What if he's just looking at them, but we're the the ones who comprehend? Like it's like the Chinese box experiment. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know. See, I was thinking just, you know, he grabs a book and says, oh, this is about this. <laughs> you know, regardless of the actual contents of the book. Uh-huh. Oh, is, is that design on the rug from, from Wind Waker? It feels like it might be. It's, I could be wrong, though. It's a specific symbol, but I don't remember the name of it. A new location has been added to your map. Uh, so we can think about that later. It's a kid's drawing. You have no idea who these people are. You found two seeds. Uh, uh, let's go this way. Oh, look at that cool bat. Mm-hmm. Oops. Hey, kid. Want to buy something? <laughs> Special? What you got? Huh. You're a fighter, right? How about a berserker mushroom? The water voles of Scanvik eat them before battle. True facts. One mushroom is eight seeds. Interested? No thanks. That's not for me. Smart lad. My mom taught you well. Is Vern straight Damn, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna no. get high on some weird stranger's mushrooms? I I could. I, I I'm just uh, trying trying to remember if there's something else I want to spend it on. And I just remembered I also have skill points. So mm. I'm just going to, uh, let me see. I'll go for, yeah, let's go for the first capstone for now. Too angry to die. Uh, uh, commit no nuisance. No nuisance allowed. Fresh, Fresh bag! Fresh veg! Get your fresh veg here! Excuse me, you there. Are you looking to buy some delicious fustuk kalabi? Fustuk. The most delicious nut. Very nutritious and filling. Oh, pistachios. I've eaten one of these before. Amp, not like this. I personally shipped them from my home overseas. Their flavor far surpasses the kind native to Merida. Rich and creamy. Delicious by themselves or ground into a goriba biscuit. Make a good pitch. How much? For you? Seven seeds each. A bargain. Deal. Sounds good. I'll take one. You received a pistachio. Many thanks, and it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I want to God so- pick a. I once saw a god pick his nose and eat it. It was gross. Kind of humbling, you know? Marita's crumbling. Enjoy it while it lasts. 
That guy has Shadow the Hedgehog makeup, and I'm obsessed. Mm. Yeah. Bye, Shrewbrew, the soft drink of champions. Uh, we got this place. Uh, love me, love me some Shrewbrew. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so proud of my Molly's creativity. But she gets her paints faster than I can make them. Say, perhaps you can help. Don't bother strangers for your errands, mother. Oh, he doesn't mind, do you, young man? No problem. It's just paint, right? Is there a craft supply shop in Merida or something? If only. We have to make our own pigments from natural materials. To craft a perfect indigo, we first must pluck 40 petals from a hydrangea in full bloom. I don't have time for that. How about I just go nab some godly paint instead? That would be easy. Badly paint? Well, now, that really would be something. I wouldn't ask you to risk life and limb over paint, though. It's nothing. I have a nose for these things. Sit tight. I'll be back later. A new location has been added to your map. Portraits are popular, but I'm trying to paint something new. Something different. Oh yeah, we've got this uh, coffee shop. Uh, I'm writing an RPG. I'm nowhere near done though. It'll take most of my life to finish this damn thing. Hmm. Thanks, D. So true. Fresh coffee. Three seeds for a cup. All right, I'll have one cup. Okay. Uh, what kind of milk? We got oat, soy, almond, and cow. Let, let's let's go for soy. Mm -hmm. I right. like soy milk the best. Mm -hmm. Soy, please. Can't go Can't wrong. Go wrong. Right. Can't go wrong with the classic. Here you go. You received a coffee. It smells energizing. Drink it while it's hot. Joking. Who am I? The royal coffee master? Drink it whenever you bloody well want. I know if you pick cow milk, he, like, gives you shit over it. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. That stuff's terrible for the environment. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, did I go in here already? No. Oh, Drip King! Mm -hmm. Hey, you. See this bit? How do you rate it? Mm. What do you think? 100, obviously. 100 out of 10. It cannot be improved. You're the epitome of fashion. Ah, you flatter me. But that won't get you a discount. Still, you are clearly a man of good taste. Come talk to me when you're ready to shop. Let me see. How many seeds do I Let me see if I can... Uh, I'll go try to find some more seeds. Uh... Yeah, I don't imagine you would have enough. Aha! You! Me? You! You're late! For what? Are you not the apprentice I requested? No. Oh! -ho! You've been on the clock for five seconds and, you've are, and you're already you're trying to shirk your duties. Admirable. But Abizato the merchant extraordinaire is not so easily fooled. Listen well, my apprentice. There's a dock worker at Canard's Wharf who has a package for me. Retrieve it, and I'll reward you with a seed or two. Fine. Whatever. A seed's a seed. Ah, but no peeking! If you peek at the package, then you shan't be paid even a threepence. Alright. The wharf, you said. That's not far at all. Hmm. The Taming of the Shrew. Delayed due to plague. 
Lost. Pet Cockroach. Answers to Miss Wiggles. I hope that wasn't in the sewer. <laughs> I'm so bored. The merchant quarter used to be bursting with life, but then we were hit by that plague. Oi, sword boy. Scared of spiders? Nope. Not that I can't handle. Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> A spider squatter! Let them squat. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh, they're friendly. Spider friend! The spider seems to be trying to communicate. Do they want something? Does... Does the spider want some food? Offer the spider an insect part? Alright. You offer the insect part. Nice. The spider throws ten seeds at you. Hell yeah, making it rain. Hell yeah. Alright, now I think I'll try to, uh, uh, get myself some riz. Uh, Let's go. Might be worth getting that package first, just so we... Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get that first. Uh, it's a merchant's quarter. Uh, it's a little more of a... Yeah. Uh, the dock worker. Are you the guy? Who did the voice for this guy? Was it me? What? What guy? It was me. I forget what I did, though. Mm -hmm. The guy with the buff or something. I wasn't really paying. Oh, yeah, that's you. Fuck yeah. me. Oh, I get it. You're... Sh yeah, sure. I'm the guy. Mr. Bazo. Mr. Ab Abazado roped you into being his errand boy, didn't he? That happens sometimes. Well, here you go, it's just what that weirdo ordered. You received a strange package. You add it to your trinkets. It was a pain sneaking that... thing through customs. So don't go dropping it now, you hear? I am not going to look at the package because I am nervous that it'll, uh, lock me out or something. Save the game, then do it, then load the save. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, also, I think you, you, don't have to, trick. you don't have to look at it like that. You can just, you know, see the box in your inventory. You don't yeah. have to open the box. That's that's legal. That is legal. Let me see. You take a peek. There's a fat, wriggling <laughs> white worm inside. Yummy. Yummy. Um, uh, this is just like my favorite Ace Attorney case. I, I actually don't care for that case too much, but it's fine. Oh ho! Oh ho! Right, you, you, you brought it. But tell me, did you peek? No, absolutely not. Ah, so dependable, an admirable trait in an apprentice. You have successfully completed the first task. Here's your paycheck, as promised. You received five seeds. Wait, first task? How many are there? I've got more important things to do, you know. Uh, trivial worries. On to the second task. There's a weaver in Gutter End who ordered the same package. A blonde mouse named Connor. Deliver it to him and procure his payment. A weaver in Gutter End? That's easy enough. Uh... Alright, gonna get me some res. Let's go. All right, so I can help you look a fraction as cruel as me. But it'll cost you. How much? Twelve seeds. Okay, but what exactly am I buying? You're buying my eye for fashion. I'll ask you some questions, take some measurements, and make an outfit for you. What do you say? Twelve seeds. Let's do this. Fine, let's do this. Oh yeah. So, just a few short questions. You ready? Hit me. Great! Question Ichi. 
Should fashion always be practical? Hmm. I say depends. Depends. Interesting take. Okay, next. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Well, clearly none. Fair enough. Okay, last one. This one's a toughie. Skinny or baggy jeans? Skinny, skinny. The skinniest. Alright, question time is over. I think I've got a good feel for the kind of fashion you're into. Let me just grab something special from round back. Here, try this on. You received a chic jacket. Snazzy. Nice. You're going to look hella dapper in your new threads. I swear. Safe travels and stay stylish. All right. I'm pretty uh, sure I got the chic jacket when I played this the first time, too. I don't remember what I got. I think it was something different. I um, do know there are, there are different things. There's the jacket... But then there's also stylish sneakers and a hat of some sort, I believe. Yeah, I think I got the hat. Yeah, I got I got the hat. I remember now. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel cool. Uh, plus six uh, defense, plus five uh, health. That's mm -hmm. a straight upgrade. Mm -hmm. Could you maybe give that to Shoban when 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 we see her next? Yeah, I think I could. Uh, let me see. So next, uh, let's go in here already. I go in here. I let me check. I went in here. That's right. Uh, next area. That's the that's the room with the uh, the small child with the horrible voice. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, some mice. It's all quiet in gutter end today. Let's hope it stays that way. Don't mind me, just taking a break from the youngins. All 14 of them. Now run along, scamp, before I put the boots to ya. <laughs> just pulling your whiskers. <sighs> I want to join the Thimble Guard someday. I could be a real hero, like Mathwell or Diego or Leo. I can't afford the fees, so I'll stick with the family business. Business? Family business? Weaving, of course. Quilting, sewing, knitting, embroidery, I can do it all. Needlework runs in, in field mouse blood, so they say at least. I see. Oh, I'm waffling. Did you want something? I think I'm supposed to give you this. Oh, yes! I ordered this straight from Abizaro. That mad merchant can get his paws on anything. Red tape be damned. What exactly is in the box? You're better off not knowing. Anyway, thanks a lot for the payment. There's a small matter of payment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I owe Abizato quite a few seeds for this. Uh, but I haven't got much on hand. I could offer him some of my best silk instead. Do you think that'll cover the cost? No idea. How should I know? Linen, rags, silk, it's all just gloss to me. Whatever. I'll pass it on and see what he says. You received a silk square. You added it to your trinkets. Thanks for the delivery. Uh, safe travels, friend. Yeah, I think that might have been a silkworm. I think they ha he has more dialogue. For me, a needle mends and creates. For Sir Leo, it is a deadly sword. Needlework is all down to the one who holds the tool. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm always saying this. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there's like a Joja thing in here. Jojima? Oh. 
Uh, we got, uh, lager. Oh! Secret hole! Oh! Secret hole. Look at this fucker! I'm the Meta Mouse and you're in the Meta House! Got any questions about metagaming? I'm your mouse! What you wanna know? Uh, we got a bunch of things. Uh, any priorities? Breaks. I wanna learn about taking a break. Defense breaks make the recipient take 50% more damage. Attack break makes the recipient deal 33% less damage. Simple as. What you wanna know? Let's go for missable items. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, there are missable items. There's even one right behind that door. But my advice? Yeah, don't sweat it, just do your thing. A mouse could go crazy trying to play a game perfectly, you know? What you wanna know? I guess- oh, effect stacking, that's a useful one. Most status effects don't get more effective the more they stack. So a creature with three berserk will do as much bonus damage as a creature with one berserk. There are two exceptions to this. One, bleeding. The higher the bleeding number, the more damage you'll take each turn. Two, charge. Load up a fire wand with two or three charges and baby, you got massive damage potential on your paws. What do you want to know? For most characters, Berserk boosts attack damage by 50%. But for Berserkers, it works a bit differently. They hit twice with every strike, effectively dealing 100% more damage. So don't settle for good-natured swings. Get mad, get real angry, baby! Move damage. Some attacks hit harder than others. But it can be tricky to calculate just how much harder because you gotta factor in enemy defense. For a high defense enemy, is it better to go with lots of small attacks or one big attack? That's for you to work out. And that's... I'm done. I'll leave you be. Door is locked tight. What's behind that door? Haha, <laughs> that's a secret. That's uh, okay. Mystery door. Mm -hmm. The garter. Yeah, go ahead. The garter are a real pain in the tail. I can barely leave my shack without being stopped and searched. The guard ain't so tough. Just a bunch of toughs, plain soldier. Oh, we got this ruler. Or yard. Why is that? Tape. I Why don't say that that's not. Why is that mouse the same color as Beerus? That is a purple mouse, huh? <laughs> Maybe they <laughs> died there die for... job. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was just gonna say, yeah, no, this isn't a ruler. That that's up in the castle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, live in a shoe. It stinks, but the rent is an absolute bargain. Welcome, Mouse. Welcome to my humble little restaurant. Tell me, do you appreciate the fine pleasure of gourmet cuisine? Sure, food's great. Ah, a connoisseur! If you bring me rare ingredients, I can craft dishes that will transcend the usual meridian swill. I can make... The food of the gods! Oh, so big food? Yeah. Okay. But what dish to start with, hmm... Perhaps a delicate nut flour cookie with just a hint of rose water. Bring me a pistachio and I shall make for you... Goriva! Here's your pistachio. Excellent, it smells divine. You must have traveled far to procure it. The guy was selling them off the road. Such humility. 
Ten seconds, if you please. So something I want to note real quick is that I did a lot of these, uh, a lot of these little side quests way later. Mm -hmm. Um, like, like I'm, I'm thinking like two or three like acts. I don't know. I wouldn't call them acts necessarily, but you know, mm -hmm. a, a while down the road, and so I, I didn't even realize you could get some of this stuff done this early. Huh. Buy work some almond flour to a paste, and then adds crumbs of pistachio and a single drop of rose water. He bakes the dough into a blazing wood oven, or in a blazing wood oven. An aroma of sweet and floral biscuits fills the air. Voila! Goriba! You received Goriba cookie. It smells divine. What's next? Hmm. Perhaps a hearty steamed vegetable dumpling with a sesame dip. Bring me a peanut and a spring onion, and I will make for you Baozi! Uh, let me just check if I... I know I have the peanut. I don't have the leek yet. I'll get that later. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure... Oh! A sprig of coriander. How fragrant. What does that do? Is that an equipable? Uh, recovers all status ailments. Also, That's Gariba. nice. Gills for 20. Nice. Damn. Well, what did the pistachio heal for? Um, uh, I didn't, I don't remember, but it was definitely, I think it was like, it was definitely less, more like a, yeah. a single digit amount. Yeah, definitely. I'm just curious how big of a... Oh, you know what, I, let me just see if I can get up here. Because I remember, I remember this is a missable. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, hey. hey! You know, I didn't realize that was a wall, or that was a roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that definitely looked like a wall to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Funny little perspective trick. Mm -hmm. Uh, Agab. Agab, all the hey. bastards. The nobles feed on the floor, the gods drop. We feed on the crumbs left behind. Same as it ever was. Oh, did you want to do some fishing? Yeah. Fishing, fishing. Oh, I, I never did this. <laughs> I didn't. I never did this either. Let's do some fishing. This looks like Let's quite a fishing see. mini game. Press Z to aim. Press Z to cast. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> hold Z to reel in. Hold X to wiggle. Oh, I see. Interesting. Now that is a fishing mini game. Hell yeah! Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Get them chests. Mm -hmm. I'm excited because oh, Stilton was here, by the way. Oh yeah, Stilton was here. Um, nice. Well, as as mentioned, I have also played this game, and I felt I was pretty complete in exploring. You know, I feel mm -hmm. like I got most of the things. Yeah. Um. You know, when I when I finished the game, I was like, I feel like I found, you know, not necessarily every secret, but most of them. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that I was completely unaware of this, I'm excited. What else was I unaware of? You found some godly chunk? It's a square chunk of plastic. You add it to your trinkets. You fished the pile dry. We did it. Good job. Let me see. What is this? Godly junk. Oh. Oh. No idea what it does. There we go. Let's let's fucking go. Probably worthless. Hmm. That looks like a motherfucking Game Boy cartridge. Yeah. I think I can go back to Cranbale, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Maybe later. There'll I'll, I'll later I'll be like going around and like visiting those places on the map, so then I'll see if I can. No. See. Don't say heck. Don't say heck. Stop it. <laughs> Someone yeah. keeps saying heck and they're very rude. Uh huh. Uh. Wait, this leads to the gatehouse. Environmental uh, storytelling. Mm -hmm. I thought this was being the other direction. <laughs> and I'm actually not sure if you can leave. Actually, based on that little dialogue there, I'm guessing that means you can't leave. Oh. I, here's a place I, uh. 
uh, missed what, the first time around and didn't go to until like story stuff. Twisted mm -hmm. Tales. Uh, we got three seeds. Nice. We got so many seeds. Uh, and we've got uh, a bar here. I take requests. I take. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I take requests. What are you in the mood for? Uh, blessing, heroic tale, or something catchy. Do something catchy. Yeah. Something catchy. All right. That guy is in the exact KK slider pose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hope you're ready because this little day's a real earworm. Yeah, I'm hustling this sucker. What'll it be, friend? What do you recommend? How about the house special? Eight seeds for a pint. It'll put hair on your tail. Uh, sounds good. I'll take one. Received a pint of special grog. Enjoy! I thought we had established that he was straight edge. Oops. But don't go trying to ride a god carriage while inebriated now, you hear me? Uh, I'm probably not gonna use it, honestly. That's not it, it's an equip. Uh, fortified beyond all reason. Yields 10 HP, may have side effects. I wanna give it. I wanna see Shoban get prunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. What's the rush? Stay around a while. I love their hair. I'm waiting for my Yappa. Should be here any moment. Oh, Lapa. Lapa? Where I'm from, it means paw. But it also means how to say it. Darling. Ah, got it. That guy's a little jellymon coated. <laughs> you recognize this, this is knife darts. The most dangerous game. Uh, don't forget the guy getting hustled. Oh yeah, I, oh, I almost forgot him. I think I'm being hustled. <laughs> Stuff. Hey, that was just long enough to, for the song to finish. Yeah, uh, nice. I think I've explored this whole place. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. What about think that alley there? there? That alley led to uh, where the uh, the bat was. Oh yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh, all of this section. Oh, uh, we have to talk to um, our friend as the, the, our merchant, yeah, yeah, our Amazado. boss. Yeah, let me go see him real quick. We got our payment of some kind. Mm. Oh, ho, you did it. I did, and I got a reward. A sheet of fine silk. That was not the agreed upon payment. But who's I to deny such a fine luxury? Here's your paycheck, as promised. You see five seeds. Ready for task three? As if I have a choice. There is a lady by the name of Matilda who lives in the Duchy of Sky Garden. She has an eye for fine fabric. Politely ask her to dye this silk a nice shade. A crimson, perhaps. Okay, what kind of creature is she? Why, she's a... You know, I have absolutely no idea. Fine. Matilda of Sky Garden, right? That's quite some way away, so give me some time. 
I'll be waiting. Yeah, uh... I... I don't remember, but... Oh, I think... Uh, we'll find out. I, I don't remember super well, but uh, we'll we'll meet her when we get to Sky Garden. Uh, I, I feel like that's just about everything. Yep. In here, except the the castle. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, a fountain. We can throw in a seed. Nothing happened. I don't know what I expected. I think if you throw in enough seeds, you'll get a thing. Uh, I might do that later. Actually, maybe I... Hmm. Actually, no, I can go here. I can go back here later. Yeah, we can come back here later. The palace is open to celebrate the young king's coronation. It's not an everyday thing. Feel free Feel to look around, but make no trouble, you hear me? 